welcome to my ingredient of the week series where I educate you about ingredients that are commonly used in the cosmetic industry. This week's ingredient is going to be phenoxy ethanol. Phenoxy ethanol you can find in probably almost every formula you looked at. This is because it acts as a preservative, which is very, very important in cosmetic formulas, especially those that are aqueous or have water. This is because aqueous formulas or formulas that are based in water are very, very susceptible to microbial growth. It's just a really good environment for bacteria to thrive. So you don't want to purposely be putting potentially harmful bacteria on your skin. Phenoxy ethanol is very popular, one, because it encompasses a wide range of bacteria. So some preservatives are more targeted towards specific types of bacteria. This one is more of a broad spectrum. Secondly, it can be used at really low concentrations. Pretty globally, 1% has been the recommended maximum concentration. It's also very compatible with the wide pH range and different types of other ingredients. And its antimicrobial properties are not really affected by other ingredients. And lastly, although some people do have sensitivities to phenoxy ethanol, it is not widely known to be an irritant. So that also makes it beneficial to be used on a wide variety of skin types. Now, sometimes you will see this ingredient in formulas that are not aqueous, such as eyeshadows or powder formulas, which don't have water in them. So therefore it shouldn't really be necessary. Phenoxy ethanol in this case is added as more of a precaution. Using your finger to apply the eyeshadow, that exposes your product to bacteria. Um, a dirty makeup brush, for instance, even just having your eyeshadow open, especially if you just left it open, it would be more susceptible. And so that's why even in powder formulas, these kind of preservatives are still used.